To understand Proposition 5, you have to think back to Proposition 13, which passed in 1978 and limited homeowners' property tax increases essentially to 2% a year a decade after Prop 13 passed. It was observed that many empty nesters, instead of downsizing from their large family homes, were staying put. So changes were made in the law to allow homeowners over the age of 55 to transfer the assessed value of their present home to a replacement home if the replacement was in the same county or a county that agreed to take the transfer, is of lesser value, a downsizing move, and was bought within two years of sale. Also, it could only be done once. This is present law. This means that if you bought your home for $50,000, and it is now worth $150,000 and you are one of these favored categories, you can sell it and your $100,000 replacement home would still bear the $50,000 assessment. That is, your property tax costs would not rise. The new owner of your house will pay about three times what you paid in property tax because that person's assessment would be at the $150,000 rate. Proposition 5 would extend this in several ways. First, it would allow people favored the over 55, the disabled or disaster victims, to purchase a more expensive home and still be able to transfer uh, the assessed value. It would also reduce assessments in a complicated formula if you move to a less expensive property. Uh, second, it would allow the homeowner to do this an unlimited number of times. Uh, third, it allows you to transfer these values anywhere in the state. There are considerable fiscal and equity effects of the proposed changes, most notably uh, significant potential reductions in property tax revenues to local government. Uh, to assure a required level of school funding, the state of California will also bear costs from reduced property tax revenue, and it will have to make it up in other ways. All government agencies will either have to increase revenue or reduce services. Uh, if you think extending these Prop 5 tax breaks in these ways is a good idea, vote yes. If you think extending these tax breaks is a bad idea, vote no on Proposition 5.